Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, AI the Great. And today, I'm coming at you with another great video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My content is fragrances, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Now let's get started. Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be saying something that I never thought I would ever say on this channel. I'm gonna bring to you my Byredo collection. <laughs> Guys, I never thought that I would have a collection of Byredo fragrances. I always looked at Byredo fragrances as a trendy Instagram brand and just influencers just have this fragrance just because it's like the cool thing to have. All the cool kids are wearing Byredo. So if the cool kids are this way, I'm going that way because I never wanna follow the hype and the trends. But guys, I've been completely loving Byredo and now I'm completely in and I believe the hype. There's a hype around these fragrances and the hype is real. And if you wanna know about the fragrances that I have in my collection and why they're so hyped up, then please continue to watch. But guys, before we get into the video, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure that the red subscribe button turns gray Tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Make sure to thumbs up the video so I know that you love my content. And let's talk in the comments below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get on with the video. Okay guys, so Byredo is a luxury niche brand that was founded by ex-basketball player Ben Gordon. Ben Gordon wanted a more inclusive approach to luxury. So he launched Byredo in 2006. They strive to translate memories and emotions into products and experiences. They create fragrances, body care, home goods, leather goods, and accessories. Byredo is sold at very high-end retailers in over 40 countries around the world. They retail for $190 to $270, and although that's pricey, for luxury niche, it's not as bad as a lot of other brands that are out there creating fragrances today. So let's get into my collection. So let's start with the fragrance that introduced me to the house of Byredo, Balder Freak. Guys, this is Ben Gordon's love letter to Africa. I just love how that sounds. It's such a beautiful, beautiful moment. And it was inspired by African culture and its influences. And we know that African culture is literally in everything that we do, in everything that we wear, in the food that we eat, in our art, in our culture, just everything. And this fragrance is a tribute to that. And I absolutely love wearing it. You can get me with a good meaning behind a fragrance because I don't wanna just wear a fragrance because it smells good. I want that fragrance to have a meaning. Like what were you thinking when you created this fragrance? Because now when I wear it, it kind of transports me to that place where you were. Although I make my own memories and I transport to different places when I wear my fragrances, I also like to know what the perfumer was thinking behind creating certain fragrances. And I just love fragrances that have beautiful stories and meaning towards it because I'm not just buying a fragrance because it smells good. Everything smells good. You can go to Macy's, half the fragrances at Macy's smell good. But what's the story behind it? What's the meaning? Guys, this is a signature scent. This is a scent that you can wear every day. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to date night. You can wear it with the girls. You can wear it for celebration It's events. a beautiful, clean, and unique musky fragrance. Let me tell you the notes. There's lemon, there's black currant, there's bergamot, there's African flower, there's violet, there's jasmine, vetiver, amber, musk, and cedar. It's a beautiful, light, clean, musky fragrance, but not too light because people will definitely smell you. If you have Byredo fragrances and you feel like they don't last long enough on you, guys, just layer because with the Spalda Freak, it's so good that I have the shower gel and the body cream. Guys, it's so beautiful. The body cream is very fragrant. If you didn't wanna buy the fragrance and you just wanted to buy the cream and the shower gel, this is a great combination. As a gift, Mother's Day is coming up soon. If you wanted to buy your mom or just the mom that you know that's in your life, the lotion, the body wash, and the fragrance, it's just an amazing, very pretty, very clean scent. It's blind buy worthy if you wanted to blind buy it. I can't see anyone not liking this fragrance. But at the same time, it's still unique. It smells like a beautiful, clean soap. A very unique, beautiful, clean soap. It's just a happy, musky, sexy fragrance, guys. Balder Freak by Byredo. Next up, we have Flowerhead. It's a very clean, very fresh, soft, 
floral tuberose fragrance that also has suede in the dry down. So it's tuberose, it's soft, but it has a little bit of edge to it. And it's so beautiful. Let me tell you some of the notes. There's angelica, there's cranberry, there's lemon, there's jasmine sandback, there's tuberose, there's green notes, rose petals, ambergris, and suede. And guys, let me tell you something. I do not like heavily green note fragrances. If it's a fig kind of fragrance, then I will like, I like those kind of green notes because I love the note of fig. But this has green notes in it that's very fresh and clean smelling. It doesn't smell herbal. It doesn't smell like tea or anything like that. It's a floral scent, but it's a light, beautiful tuberose scent, guys. Beautiful. And I also have the body cream because you can get your whole layering life with Byredo, guys. The creams are fragrant. They're rich. They're thick. They're creamy. This is a guys. spring fragrance. It's a summer fragrance. I wouldn't wear this all year round. It's definitely, if you live in the States, this can be your signature scent during the spring and summer months. I can months. see you wearing this to work. You can wear this in the evening. You can wear this on a date night if you wanted to. You know, just an easy, breezy type of fragrance. It's a beautiful scent. And if you love tuberose, you'll love this one, guys. Flowerhead by Byredo. Next, we have Sundays. This fragrance opens up bright and citrusy with just a citrus burst, and then it gets so sweet and kind of like gourmandish in the dry down, guys. You notice I have a big bottle of this one because when I smelled this one, I mean, they're all beautiful, but I just needed this one because I knew I was gonna get my overspray life with this. Let me tell you the notes. There's mandarin orange, there's lemon, there's neroli, there's jasmine sandback, there's cotton candy, and white musk. It's a playful, feminine, happy fragrance, guys. One that you can wear in the spring and summer months. Definitely a man-pleasing kind of fragrance because it's sweet, and you know men love sweet fragrances, but it's not a fruity sweet kind of fragrance. It's different because it has cotton candy in it. Definitely one that you can wear on a hotter days because it opens up with the citrus and the lemon and the mandarin orange. It's such a beautiful scent, and it has a little bit of depth to it from the neroli. Guys, Sundays. The listen. only reason why I don't have the body cream in my collection is because I didn't have it at my Neiman Marcus. But guys, I'm on the hunt for the body cream to Sundays. It's such a beautiful scent. It's so good, guys. A burst of citrus, dries down sweet, sweet cotton candy, kind of gourmandish. Your man is gonna love it. Compliment getting. Sexy date night fragrance in the spring and summertime. Sundays by Byredo. Next up, we have Rose of No Man's Land. This beautiful, beautiful rose fragrance. This, guys, is reminiscent to me of Gucci Guilty Absolute. But Gucci Guilty Absolute is very strong. It's a little stronger and it smells a little boozier. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. It smells a little bit smoky. Now, guys, the Rose of No Man's Land, this was a nickname given to the nurses who saved thousands of lives in World War I. Just a beautiful, beautiful story and tribute to them. This is a feminine scent. It's a very pretty scent. It's another one that I can't see people not liking. This is a fragrance that everyone is going to like. You can wear it to work. I don't feel like it's an all year round fragrance. It can be a signature scent during the spring and summer months. You can wear it to work. Another one that you can wear at night. None of these fragrances are going to give you beast mode projection. None of these fragrances are going to last on your skin for hours and hours. I'm getting about five to six hours on my skin. I overspray and I layer. So let me tell you the notes. There's red rose, there's pink pepper, there's red rose again, there's raspberry bloom, papyrus, and amber. I also have the body cream to this one as well. Guys, I'm telling you, when it comes to Byredo, the trick is to layer the fragrances. Buy the shower gel, buy the body cream, and then overspray the fragrance on this. You can't just spray a Byredo fragrance on your pulse points and go and expect that it's gonna last on your skin all day. That's not gonna happen. So you overspray, you layer, you expect five to six hours on your skin, and you keep it pushing. So next up, we have Pulp. Guys, this fragrance right here is very unique. It's a very different type of scent. This is a love it or hate it. I wouldn't buy this for anyone unless they requested it. I wouldn't blind buy this fragrance. I absolutely love it, but it's a different scent. It's a very complex fragrance, but it's a sexy fragrance. It's a date night fragrance for spring and summer. There's black currant, there's bergamot, there's cardamom, there's fig and red apple. There's tiare flower, praline, peach blossom, and cedar. Guys, the fig in this fragrance is a different take on a fig. I've never smelled a fragrance like this, like literally ever. It's so different, but I love it. 
it's green, but then it smells sweet. It's woody. It almost smells a little smoky. It's spicy. This is a very different fragrance, guys. I do have the small bottle because I wanted it because the scent was so unique, but it's not one that you overspray. It's not one, I mean, you can overspray if you wanted to, but it's a different scent. It's a fragrance that can be worn by a man or a woman. It is a unisex scent. It's very different, like I said. Try to get your nose on this, guys. Pulp by Byredo. So next up, we have 11th Hour. And guys, let me tell you how I ended up with this fragrance. I purchased Flower Head from Bergdorf, and I got this free hand cream. And I was just driving home, and I needed, because you know, I'm always sanitizing with my 99% alcohol, like I always tell you guys. So my hands are always ashy. So I pulled out this cream to lotion my hands, and when I smelt it, I was like, oh, I gotta go back and get 11th hour. Like, that's what they do to you. They give you free things like this that they know you're gonna like, and now I have 11th hour. Guys, this is a different scent. It's another very unique, very type of you love it or you hate it type of fragrance. There's rum in this fragrance. There's fig in this fragrance. Guys, I keep telling you, I love fig. So there's Sichuan pepper, there's bergamot, there's plum, there's rum, there's fig, there's cedar, Tonka bean, Isoe Super, Olibanum, and Labdum. This fragrance leans a little bit masculine to me. You smell the rum, you smell the fig, so it's a fruity rum fragrance, not a blind buy. It's not a signature scent. If someone asks you to buy this for them, then you gift it to them. It doesn't have the body cream yet because this is fairly new. And I'm loving having unique and different scents in my collection that it doesn't have to be mass appealing. Everybody doesn't have to feel like it smells good. You may or may not get a compliment, but you love how you smell. That is what 11th Hour does for me and also Pulp. Just a different scent that maybe no one is gonna give you a compliment on, but you know that you love it and you smell amazing. So that's it guys, the six fragrances that I own from the house of Byredo that I absolutely love. Let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.